Tommy, congratulations again. In what way did this win show the character of the team that you have come to know since you came here in a trade? We're a very resilient group. Um, you can say when our backs are against the wall, it brings the best out of us. Um, guys tend to turn to or tend to turn up the focus. And, um, you know, it gives us a little edge. So maybe, maybe that's what we needed. Chelsea on the back left. Hey, Tommy, um, Merrill Kelly had to go through a lot just to kind of get his opportunity in the big leagues, let alone get to this stage. What about him have you learned in the short time you've been his teammate that, that kind of makes that make sense? Like, why has he been able to kind of to get here, I guess? He cares about getting better. And um, that's part of the process of being a, a big leaguer. You know, it's one thing to get here. It's another thing to get here and continue to work on being better at your craft. And, and that's something about Merrill that I've learned about him. Um, he's very like studious uh, of the game. He cares and he, and he wants to be great. So that, you know, there, there's, there's some drive to him. Down here on the right side, second row. Uh, Tommy, too, if I could. Uh, the first, just what are you seeing out of Alec Thomas in the postseason that's allowing him to make this leap in terms of performance? He's controlling his backside a, l a lot better. Um, one thing, when, when I got traded here, you know, I, I watched him hit, and I don't know, in a, a span of games, I, I wa he was just jumping out so far to hit the ball. And I started talking to the hitting coaches. I'm like, you know, we, you guys got to get this guy to stay back. And they were like, you don't think we've told him? And I was like, all right, man, let me, let me try to talk to him. So, you know, I, I started talking to him about his swing and, and what I thought. And I started showing him things that I felt like he could do. He could do better to make him a, a harder out. And he really, he really took what I said and ran with it, man. And it's been beautiful watching him continue to get better at it. And, um, you know, we're probably going to have to give me a tip or something for helping him out. But, I mean, he's, he's, he's really gotten better mechanically with his swing. And it's allowing him to, to pull the ball in the air better, drive the ball the other way. And, I mean, I wish I, wish I could take what I know about hitting and translate it that quick because I wouldn't be struggling as much as I do. But it's like I said, it's been beautiful watching him continue to get better at it. And, and just for you, I, I know you've talked about signing in New York in order to make it to the postseason. Have you reflected on just this topsy-turvy journey you've had that now is taking you across the country and here to a game seven? I, I haven't reflected on it. Um, I'm sure, you know, there will be a time I, w I will reflect on that, but it hasn't happened yet. Greg, on the left. Thanks. Tommy, congratulations on the win. Can you take me through uh, that first at bat? What did you see from Nola? He's been dominant. What did it mean to touch him up early? Yeah, he has been dominant. Nola's a, a great pitcher, um, great numbers against me. Um, I saw him. He, he fell behind 1-0, then he threw a ball at the top of the zone, and I fouled it back, and immediately I was like, damn, I missed my pitch. You know, because I don't, as you guys have seen this series, I haven't been getting too many balls out over the plate. And um, then he throws a, a backdoor changeup, and in my mind I'm like, shit, here we go again. You know, I'm down 1-2, 0-2, like always. Let me try to battle and um, I got to 2-2 two -two and, and it just looked like he, he missed his spot. You know, he was trying to get the ball out over away. It, 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 it came in and I, I didn't miss it. 
Can you tell me about what was the mood like uh, in the clubhouse and how has that been compared to the other wins in this series? Could you excuse? I, I misheard the beginning yeah. of your question. No, no worries. What was the mood like in the clubhouse? And then can you compare that mood tonight to how it's been with the other wins in the series? The, the mood has been the same as every other win, um, except now, you know, it, we're, we're, it's, we need one more to advance. Um, going into today, we were focused on, on winning. You know, it's win or go home. That's the, that's the mindset, that's the attitude, and that's the, the thought process regarding everything. You're welcome. Back, right? I apologize if you've asked me that's just question. I was in both clubhouses, but was your, as a team, was your approach to Aaron different than it was the last time you faced him? Or was it a case of just taking advantage of maybe mistake pitches you may have thrown in this game that you didn't get a chance to do so in game in the previous start? No, there's, there's really no team approach. You know, every, every hitter has, has their own history and and they're attacking every hitter different. You know, they're, they're, they're pitching me different from, you know, let's say Christian Walker. Because, you know, we have different strengths and weaknesses. Um, they're, they're really doing a great job executing. Um, then, you know, their pitchers have great stuff as well. You know, when, when you combine great stuff, you know, 95 to 100 with execution, it, it, that's really hard to hit. This game. Hitting's hard already. You know, the three out of 10 gets you to the Hall of Fame. Then, But when you got guys now throwing, you know, 95 to 100 on the black, and they're breaking off, you know, um, 86 to 90 mile per hour sliders with 26 to 2900 RPM spin, and it's landing on the black, the numbers say, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but the numbers say guys hit like 200 or less on that just to, you know, kind of educate you. So you're really just hoping that you get a mistake. JP. Tommy, you've shared a lot over the years about your journey with Karatakonis and what you've had to do to just be able to play this game. And I wonder on a cool, dry night like this, as I understand it, that's the kind of thing that would cause issues with this for you in the past. Maybe could you share just all you had to do just to be able to see, let alone hit a ball that far on a night like this? Um, I, don't, I don't know if that's kind of accurate. If for, for you know, me and my keratoconus, the, I would say I have windy days are, are probably troublesome, um, especially defensively for me, but you know, the day I hang it up, you know, I might write a book about, you know, how challenging Keratoconus is um, for someone trying to play Major League Baseball. You know, I learned, I learned uh, my teammate has Keratoconus, but he's a pitcher, um, Ryan Nelson. And when um, he was like, how do you hit? He goes, you know, I had to give up hitting because of this in college. And uh, I was like, yeah, man, I've I figured out something that works and I'm hopefully I could get five more years um, in this game. But uh, it's not easy. I, but I do have a great supporting cast of doctors. Um, there's new technology coming out, which is probably giving me a little bit more years and uh, everything should be better. Let's, let's hope for the best for me. Thanks, Tommy. You're welcome. We'll take one last one uh, again back at the uh, right side. When you consider how this series started and considering how you were down 0-2 and then down 3-2, um, for this team to battle back and find yourself now in the seventh game, winner take all with a chance to go to the World Series, just look about you know, the way you guys have just persevered and gotten to this point. Yeah, it speaks a lot about about the guys in the, in in that clubhouse, um, especially against this team. You know, um, when I when I played here um, earlier in the year with New York, uh, I seen the potential of, of this team. You know, um, I've seen I've seen their bullpen. 
Um, I have history against their starters, and and their lineup wasn't necessarily clicking uh, the way it is now. But as the season wore on, you saw their their bats get hot, and it was just like, man, this this team could be scary. But um, as I as I said earlier, it speaks about a lot about the guys in that locker room, the coaches, um, because. You know, with all honesty, man, the the media could could really portray a, a, a false picture about a team. Um, then as you guys are seeing this series, you know, the resiliency of 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 the D backs and and how we play the game, how we how we manage to win, it, it's starting to grow amongst you know, the baseball fans, media, and, and everyone else in the game. Um, it's just sometimes when you when you count a team out from the get-go, um, and, and, and when that team so easily falls behind, you know, 0-2, you get that perception. But we always felt like, you know, if, if we got some Good pitching, played great defense, and and we we played our game that we could we could win this.